Hey everybody, welcome back to another Unity VR tutorial. In this one we're going to be showing you how to basically grab an object from behind your back um, with the Vive controller. So if you've ever played a zombie training simulator, the VR game, you'll know that you can use the controller to reach behind your back and pull out a sword. Uh, maybe you've seen this in other games like a bow and arrow type game where you can pull arrows from behind your back. That's basically what we're going to be covering today. Um, this is also covered in a VRTK example included in the VRTK library. Um, that's in example 023. So check that out if you want a full working example. Uh, and this code is pretty much based on that. So let me jump in the headset and show you what we're going to be actually making. So you'll see this is attached to the headset and we've got this yellow cube that basically just represents the area that is behind your back essentially. Um, so you'll see when I reach behind and I'm colliding with that area behind the headset, I can press the grab button and I pull out this sword. And that's pretty much it. So let's hop into a fresh Unity scene and get started. So um, I've got this scene open and like I've done before, I've gone into VRTK examples and I'm copying this 002 so we get these uh, controllers set up for us. And I just dragged, I'd cloned this and then dragged it into my own assets. So going from there, we've got this um, 002 controller events one. So in VRTK, we've got left controller and right controller. So we need to set these up to actually um, be able to grab and touch objects. So we're going to go ahead and remove this events listener example script because we don't need that. And then for left or right or both, um, we're going to just add uh, VRTK interact grab and that's going to add these three scripts that is going to allow us to do touches and grabs so I'll just do ahead I'll go ahead and add that to the right controller as well all right once we've got that we're ready to start touching and grabbing objects so in VRTK we need to set up something to follow the headset so like we did in the previous video with the gaze UI we're going to add an empty object and we're going to just call this headset and in here, we're going to add a script called VRTK transform follow. And this is going to basically follow that headset. So we're going to set the game object to follow to be um, camera I. And then the game object to change is just headset. Okay, we can leave these values the same as the default. Under headset, we're going to add another object. Uh, we can make it a cube and let's call it backpack. Now, let's position this to be more realistic of what the, um, what the area behind your head would look like for grabbing an object. So we're gonna leave the position at the origin and then we're going to make um, the scale a little smaller. You could tweak these numbers depending on what exactly you're doing, um, but I think this, from my testing, this has turned out to be a pretty good size. So then in the box collider, we need to make sure we set is trigger to true. We can leave this mesh renderer. Now we're going to need to add our own script. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a script in our scripts uh, directory. Let's create a C sharp script. And it's going to be called backpack. And we can go ahead and add this onto our backpack object. Okay. So then let's go into backpack and set that up. All right, first things first, let's import VRTK. Okay, now we're gonna need to set up a, um, a prefab to basically instantiate for the, the sword object. So let's make that a public variable. Let's make it a game object and you can call it spawn object. And then let's go ahead and just set that up really quick. So um, back in Unity, let's go into our assets and create a folder for prefabs. Now you can use whatever you want for the sword, but I'm going to use um, the sword object that's already included in one of the VRTK example scenes. So I'm going to go in here and it should be in 026. I'll just save that. Uh, 026 in these example objects we've got this sword i'm just going to copy that and go back over here and paste it in all right now we do need to tweak this a little bit um so in this sword script you can leave that on there 
I prefer to not have to hold the button to grab it. I feel like that makes it easier. So I'll just toggle that off. And then I will uncheck uh, disable when idle. And then we can leave the rest of this default. Um, so with that, we can just take that sword and drag it into our prefabs folder. And we've got that set up. So then in our backpack, we will select that as our spawn object for the backpack. Okay. So let's return to our script and finish this up. So in, we can actually get rid of these two start and update functions. We're gonna need to listen to um, the unity function on trigger stay for colliders. And basically once the collider for the, um, once any collider enters the object, that's the backpack, starts touching the backpack, we're gonna get this event called. Um, so that's gonna refer to the controller in this scenario. Um, and then we can access the controller object. So let's add this in, collider, collider. Now we need to basically check to make sure that we are being actually grabbed by the, um, the controller. So we're gonna assign this interact grab object. And this is just making sure that we actually have the the object that's touching it um, has that uh, VRTK interact grab script attached to it, meaning that it would be the controller. Um, so we're going to use this logic to make sure that we we have that. So the collider .game object .get component VRTK interact grab. Then otherwise we're going to look in the the parent. All right. So now we've got that grabbing object. So we need to create a function to make sure that we actually can grab the sword. Call it can grab. Okay, so then to make sure that we can grab it, we're going to make sure that we have grabbing object and the currently grabbed object is null and we are pressing the grab button. Now this is going back to our VRTK controller event script that's on the controller. Okay, so that makes sure that we have this grabbing object. Um, it's not currently grabbing an object and uh, the grab button is pressed. And for the default, that's going to refer to the grip button on the back of the Vive controller. Uh, again, this code is taken from the uh, 023 example in the VRTK examples from the library. So check that out. Um, and thanks to the creator of the library for providing that example. So after we've created this can grab function, we're going to do if can grab on grabbing object, then Let's just log to make sure that we actually will be spawning this object. And we'll, we'll implement the, the logic to do that once we've made sure that it's actually working. Okay. So let's jump into the headset. Okay, so you see we've got this cube that's tracking with the headset. And then when we put the controller into the cube, and press the trigger, we're going to get that spawning object message in the console. All right. So now we need to actually spawn that object. So let's do that. We're just going to instantiate that prefab that we assigned to that public variable. Then we're going to use the VRTK interact touch component 
to force touching the object that we just spawned, and then we're going to attempt to grab it. So the reason that we have to, to, to grab the object, we basically have to be touching it, and then we can grab it. And we can do that programmatically. Um, so we have to call those two methods to actually do that. So we're going to get this component for VRTK interact touch. And then we're going to force a touch on the spawned object. And then grabbing object dot attempt grab. Okay. And that's it. So back to Unity. Um, in that sword prefab, let me go through these uh, this script that's basically attached. So this sword script is... Um, a extension of VRTK interactable object and if you were to make your own version of the sword that's what you need to attach um, and then we have this VRTK child of controller grab attach script which basically gets assigned to this grab attach mechanic script and that handles what happens when the object is actually grabbed um, and so the reason I'm just using this sword is because it's built in it has the snap point already ready so that it uh, appears correctly in the controller object when you grab it. Uh, so that's just a nice pre-made kind of object for us to use. Then we've got this VRTK interact controller appearance, and that's just going to hide the controller um, when you when you grab the object. So let's run it and make sure everything works. All right. So again, we've got this, this cube, and then when we go into this and grab it, it's going to spawn that sword, and we can drop the sword. Uh, uh, we can't because we're not allowed to. If you want to be able to drop the sword, you can just go into this sword script and then say valid drop, drop anywhere. And then you can grab a sword, drop it, grab a sword, drop it, grab a sword, drop it. Uh, that's pretty much it for this example. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.